was haggling, bro. You are my Dorito. <laughs> I am your Looch. <laughs> All right. I was haggling. Let's do this. Okay. Rock on. Okay. What's going on, YouTube? Dorito Luchacabra here. And today we're going to go ahead and slap together the Tau Tau 125cc Hellcat. The Hellcat 125, people! It's a street bike! We're kind of going off our, our tangent here of our dune buggies and going on street legal stuff. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Shall we? <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and get this thing uncreated and we'll get right back to you guys. Let's right? do this! Alright. You know... This comes in is superior packaging, real sturdy. Speaking of superior, superior power sports. Jim Garza gets us this stuff, man. This guy, I can't say enough good stuff about him or his company over there. So check him out. He'll get you hooked up, people. Colors, Luch. You want to explain it? Three to you? different colors, people. It doesn't matter what color you like. Tell them what it, colors they come in, Luch. Well, it comes in. It comes in red, white, and blue. America, America. Okay, people. Now we're gonna put this stuff together. We're gonna start with the handlebars here. Don't say a word. Well, there's only one way we can ride this bike, right? With handlebars. No handlebars. We're going to take our little towers off first. Which, let me tell you, people, behind the scenes production earned their money today getting these handlebars apart. So. Well, we definitely couldn't ride the bike without any. What we want to do is make sure these are all routed correctly. Okay? Are you sure that's the right way? That's the right way. See, this side goes down that way. That side goes down that way. It even comes with little neat holders here that you that you run your uh, 
your looms through, your cables, your wiring looms, your brake, your throttle, everything goes right through there, people. And then it goes, sits, the whole handlebar assembly sits right down inside there. And then we can take our little towers. All right. We've got those started. We can tighten those down. We can go on to our front headlight and fender. All right, there. Let's go on to our headlight and fender, shall we? All right, people, we're about ready to get this thing off the shipping crate and on to our bucket. Bucket. And he said bucket. Could be. We, we got a thing here about safety at Dorito and Deluxe Cobra. I don't want to see my pal Dorito get hurt. So that's why the bucket, people. Always safety first. All right. So first thing, we got to put the fender on. And it'll just slide right in here. It's kind of sit in there. Kind of nice looking once it's on. And then you take your screws, which you have pre-installed the Loctite on, and screw it in. Now there's six of those to do. Might seem like a lot, but it holds this thing together, people. Yeah, I'm really liking this thing. It's actually got a lot of cool stuff to it. Um, there's even a, you got your high beam and your low beam switch, but you actually have a little button up here in the front that actually flashes your high beam, which is pretty cool for passing, I guess, or something like that. Um, you got a horn button, your left, your right, your on, your off switch, uh, your light on, and your light off switch as well here, and a starting button. It's not on yet! No, I'm just checking it all out. You know, I'm checking it out too. And this thing looks like it's got a pretty neat LED headlight on it. Oh, really? It should be LED. nice and bright, people. Nice. Nice! We'll check out the gauge cluster too once we uh, get the battery in. It's all electronic, isn't it? Check it out, yeah. Really neat! Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. So, thanks, Jim. Be sure to check out Jim Garza. Check out his stuff over at SuperiorPowerSports.com. We'll leave a number and a name uh, in the uh, in right here, or right here, or right there, somewhere, maybe even right over here. All right. What did I miss? <laughs> not much, Luke. Not much. Was there something on my face? <laughs> Anyways, people, have you checked out our new line of apparel? Coming to a fine store near you soon. <laughs> Luch Mob on the front. And our Luchamaniac logo on the back. <laughs> Check them out. Like I said, I feel all giddy when I see them. Almost you, like Kylie go. Jenner. Here you go. Show them how it's done. There we go. We got Luch Mob on the front. And then if you guys can see the little drawing on the back. Let us know what you think. Go ahead and leave a comment. Just leave a comment down below. We love to hear from you guys. I like that part. Show me. All right. Let's get the rest of these things bolted down. Nice and tight. The speedometer setting is set up on the front. It's actually pretty cool on this thing. It's got a little magnet. Um, it's pretty cool. You guys... It's called high tech, people. Well, Lucia will explain it to you. You know, if I only knew the theory of magnetics, I could explain it to you. Magnetics. That's what I just said. But you know, I'm just a simple luch with a simple luch grade education. This thing does really have a real cool LED bulb on it. It's really neat. It looks like it may even have a halo. Not that I'm an angel or anything. Check it out, people. This is our front tire right here. On one side, we have the magnets that, <laughs> that Dorito was talking about that's going to go along with your speedometer. Now then, when you put it all together, these little magnetics are going to slide around and cause a make and break circuit that sends a signal up to your speedometer and it makes it all work and function like it should. On the other side, we have a break. <laughs> this helps you stop. All right, people. 
So there we go. <laughs> there we go. I told you he'd explain it to the magnetics, too. What was it again? Magnetics. Magnetics. Sorry. Oh I'm no. Sure we got that. Magnetics are very important. <laughs> and now what we got to do is slide it up inside here. <laughs> but first off, oh God, Dorito. Yes. He forgot the parts. What'd you do with that? This is a spacer, but it also has a has a seal right in here. See. And the seal needs to make a seal around the spacer. Oh, okay. Okay? So, so it, it has a greased bearing in there. And that seal keeps the grease from coming out and splattering all over your brakes. So, you so push it in until it seats. I may need a bigger hammer. All right. And then we take the whole assembly, making sure we get our brake rotor. With that spring. Inside the caliper. We got the wheel on there, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Let me tell you something, people, on how to do this and make it easy on yourself. The, the speedometer has a little cup on it, and it slides onto the magnets that are in the wheel. So you got to slide it onto the wheel first and put the, the spacer on the other side and put them both in together straight up while lining up the sprocket for your brake. Once you've done that, it's simple! Would you like a peach ring? Oh, gotta get my gummy on! Gummy on! Gummy on! Gummy on! Oh, I love gummies! <laughs> Let me tighten all this up and make one more round around the bike and we'll get back with you! Because I gotta get more gummy on, people! I just love them that much! Alright, so we're gonna get the oil changed in this and uh... He, well, he puts on the mirrors. Oh, yeah, our headphones, people. Remember those from before? Our Bluetooth wireless headphones. You can probably contact Mars with these things. Give me the pan there, big guy, will you? Hey, I'll pan you. Thank you very much. I'd like to take a second, people, to let you see Dorito's good side. <laughs> this, is the, logo. this is the part that I like to look at. Unfortunately, this is the part that I always look at. It's got the new logo, guys. Check it out. All right, people. Check out our mirrors here. Make sure you take off the plastic protection and throw it at your partner. All right. Throw your little plastic caps away. Hey, okay, thank you. And, well, put them on. This thing really is pretty cool, guys. Um, I, everything I'm seeing on it is, you know, I... I it's really neat! But oh, this one's got a magnet on the drain plug as well, too. So that's really cool. All right, we take our 916s, or 14 millimeter, depending on what part of the world you come from, and you just snug down your mirrors. And look, you can adjust them later, however tall you might be. What's your opinion of this thing, Luke? This thing's really neat. I'm digging this. I may even want one for my own self. Don't right. tell Mrs. Luch, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> now, we got to, on my knees again. Again. Always on uh, his knees. What we got here? Hey, under, I should give Cool Ranch and Mucho Cabre a shout out. Uh, you know, maybe some. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Speaking of seats. I want to give a shout out to the Mucho Cabre and Cool Ranch, the newest phenomenon to take over the internet, people. And I got to tell you, uh, uh, that's the finest form of flattery that we got going on there with these people. I love them and love what they do. Can you believe he ate a squirrel? He ate a squirrel to get my look. <laughs> but that's okay because I'm beautiful, people. I'm beautiful. Now then. Okay, so let's get some oil in this thing now. We had a little bag of nuts. Which nuts? These nuts! Those nuts. These are for the battery. All right. All right? So what we got in here, under our... Si hey. Hello? <laughs> Hello? We need to kind of route our wires here out of the way and then stick 
one of these little square nuts. Which nut? Little square nut. Okay. Underneath. And then get our battery cables to go through. Starting with the positive. Are you positive? Are you positive? I'm negatively positive. I've never been so negative in my life. Nice. So we got a cord of oil in there. We're going to check and see where the level is and go from there. Can you uh, set it straight up for me there? I'll get that for you, sir. Sir! Here, you need to stop with that talk. Is that straight? Uh, are you straight? I feel like you're leaning my way a little. There we go. <laughs> I'm leaning your, I'm leaning your way a little bit, friend. Whoa. <laughs> Now you always want to screw the dipstick all the way back in. What? When you check it. Yep, exactly. Make sure we got a full level. More technical difficulties here. Pull it on out. How's it look? Looks to be full. We'll go ahead and give it a ride at a court and maybe add a little bit in a minute. But it looks like it's pretty full for now. Maybe we got to get it cranked over and get some of the oil running through, and then we'll check it out after that. So let's get it fired up and see what it looks like then. So back to leaching the battery. Let's tighten up our drain plug as well. Make sure that's all snugged up. So we got it together. We got the front rims on. The front rim on. We got the brake done. We got everything in. We did have one issue though. And There's a little bitty problem here, people. Let them know, Luch. Well, what happened if we went to do our initial startup and found we had no fuel? Now this doesn't mean we didn't have any fuel. It means we put fuel in and there was no fuel to the carburetor. Well, with a little, a little bit of legwork, we found that the line was pinched at the back of the tank. It had folded over when they put the tank down. So it pinched the fuel off so there was only a few little dribbles coming through. So once we relocated that fuel line, got fuel down to our carburetor, they fired right up. It was beautiful. And like I said, guys, we are going to point out any issues that we know with this. So it's very important We're trying to be unbiased. We, that we point out the bad stuff just like the good stuff. So, you know, we did have to correct it. It was a pain in the butt. Somebody probably wouldn't have figured it out had I not had the luge. Aye! But if, if I wouldn't have had the luge, then maybe I wouldn't have figured it out. But You gave me too much it. credit. Hey, nice shirt. Hey, that's a great shirt. You like the back of this shirt? That's a beautiful shirt. Let me see the back of hey, oh, that. What's the back of my shirt? What's my back say? What's my back say? What's my back say? What does my back say? Dude. Dude. What? Sweet. Sweet. Okay. All so, right. Anyways, back at the ranch. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and turn on the key and we're gonna get it started, and so you guys can check it out. Just, just but, listen to this baby purr. But be sure to check everything over before you call them and complain. If you're putting this together, you're assuming that. So understand that you have to do that and put it together. That's why I do recommend that you guys go ahead and have them assemble it over there. But if you don't, be sure that be sure to know that you might run into issues like this, and you definitely need lubrication. <laughs> so all right, so let's right. get on with it. Luke. So what you need to do is turn your wheel straight, right? Otherwise your key will break off. You can't turn the key. But anyways, you turn the key to the run position. Really you know cool it's on the run too. position because you got a cool headlight on here. Really, really cool deep. Blair LED. Okay, and then all you got to do, fire it right up, people. Listen to that baby purr. Let's take a second and listen to the beautiful noise that is the 125 Hellcat. What else is it? Hey. Raptor. <laughs> Good. Sounds awesome! Sounds really good. So we're going to go ahead and shut this off. We're going to... Oh, oh, you got the, the seat. You still got to do that. Don't remember. I mean, don't forget. Well, always don't remember, remember, don't ever forget. Yeah, remember not to forget. Always! You got to you gotta wrap your seat before you seat your meat. You got to unlock the seat so you can unwrap your seat. Before I was you just seat. going to open it like a Christmas present. No, no, no. no let's all right, right, all right. All right. Slot on the side that you can turn. That will and open. It, look at that, people. And, and actually pull the seat up. The one good key we got left will open the side of it. Yes. I'll put that back there. Yep. And you see, you just take your little hairnet off. I think it's a hairnet. What would I know about hairnets? Yep. And there you go. Beard nets are really cool. People, I want to show this to you because this is really neat. 
We got some custom red. Can you see that? Are you with me, people? Focus here. Custom red stitching around the whole seat. Looks beautiful, people. I like the custom detailing. So what anyways, a beautiful piece we've got here. We're gonna get it out. I'll take it. I'll take it for a ride, and uh, we'll see how it's going. Gotta get see what this on. piece does. I'll take her for a cruise. So we'll get right wait back. Wait a minute. To you guys, wait right? a minute. Wait a minute. We got before we do. Sit on here a second, Luke. Uh, Dorino, I want to see how you look on this. Because, you know, check this out, people. The best thing about this bike, people, oh, it oh, has man, rear pegs. It has rear pegs. So, if you want to go for a little ride with your loved one. Get out, honey. Here. Look. So, there we go. Can we spoon? No, <laughs> more spoon. Get away. <laughs> but that's what I'm telling you, people. What a great piece this is. Awesome. It does have it does have back pegs, though. So I like to ride on the back pegs as well. Some people think that's nuts, but that's how I like to ride. So let's get on with it, shall we? But just remember, people, it's purely platonic. <laughs> purely. <laughs> You're scared. I'm scared now. Make it stop. All right, so All right. let's get out there. All right, guys, one of the most important things with riding, never forget, always wear a helmet. It's real important. You never know what's going to happen, so you always want to wear a helmet. You got to right? protect your coconut. Yeah. Not much there, but you still got to make it work, all right? Peace. Okay, people, here's our test drive. Check this out. This is why I'm so fond of Raptors. And this looks like a pretty neat little Raptor we got here. Here it comes. Fan 1701. Always on his knees. Our favorite. 
Let me tell you, we can be nowhere without him. So, I just wanted to say thanks a lot, guys. You guys helped us out in getting these real cool shirts. And okay. stuff. Oh, wait, no, not that. The shirts. Yeah, the shirts. Yeah, 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 yeah,